Hello, new vlog time. Um, I'm currently reading Kirk Sandblaster vs Protocol 9 by Ollie Jacobs. This is an indie book that I'm reading for Todd and Dane's indie read along. And today is Monday the 10th of February. How is it February already? Oh, it's middle of February. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to add, so I'm just filming an intro. Hello, see you later. Blurry, 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 not so blurry anymore. Hello, it's uh, Wednesday. Wednesday the 12th of February, Valentine's Day in two days, how sweet. <laughs> so vlog time, uh, what have I been up to? Well I'm still reading uh, 450 from Paddington by Agatha Christie, it's in massive print as well. I'm currently on page 194, about 350. Um, it, it is specifically a large print edition by the way, I wasn't just randomly saying that. Uh, it's a Miss Marple book and I do like my Miss Marple, so I am certainly enjoying that. Um, yeah, basically a woman sees somebody being murdered while she's on a train. You know when you're on a train and two different trains are moving and for a second or two, or two it like, seems as though you're moving at the same speed and you can like see in and stuff? That's basically what happens and she spots a murder, so we're investigating all of that. It's very good so far. It's a Miss Marple and I do like my Miss Marple. So. That's really it on the reading front. I don't think I've done anything else. I've, I've had a bit more of my audiobook of The Tommy Knockers by Stephen King, and I've been reading a bit more of uh, Deliberate Prose, Alan Ginsberg's selected essays as my, my bedtime read. So we've got all that going. Yesterday I went to the open mic. I actually wasn't going to stay for long, and then I ended up staying until the end. Um, but it was because the, the drinks were cheaper than I remembered, so they were 3 45 for a pint. Whereas like at the Bellevue, I went there on Sunday, and I bought six pints and it cost me 30 quid. So whereas at the Chilton Taps yesterday I bought three and a half pints and it cost me a tenner I think. So yeah, it seemed like a better deal. And I played some songs with Dave, tried out some new ones with him uh, that he didn't know we were going to play. I just got him up. He'd also taken his bass along so he ended up playing bass with some random guy. So that was nice. Went to the supermarket earlier and got some food. My fridge is broken, that's a thing. So I'm going to see, there might be another fridge from the art centre. Basically I helped Fran who runs the art centre, I helped her to put in this new fridge that she was sent by Coca-Cola and it's like really nice with glass doors and inside lighting and stuff so that you can display the drinks but um, there were some just old fridges that they were using and I don't know what they're doing with those fridges and seeing as my fridge is broken it seems like it might be a good idea to ask if I can have theirs because then it's better than just buying a new fridge and the other one's going to waste and stuff as well you know. Yeah I need to do my hoovering tonight as well that's also a thing. But other than that, I don't think there's that much to tell you guys, to be honest. Uh, I've been playing Word Feud. Does anyone play Word Feud? It's like it's like a Scrabble game. Um, I think if you if you add me on Facebook and then use log into Word Feud with Facebook, you can challenge me to a game. So so do that. I'll, I'll look forward to playing you guys. It's basically Scrabble. Oh, Dallas! Oh, I dropped off, Gwen. You all right? Yes, I'm. Watching Gavin and Stacey, I've never seen it before, but people love it. The cat has come over to say hello as well. Uh, I have wet hair today. It's currently Thursday the 13th of February. Um, so yes, this evening in about two hours I'm off to the radio station to do radio presenter training because hopefully next month I will be starting a radio show. So that's all very cool. So I have to do a mock show tonight. So I've been working on you know, some interview questions and things. What are you doing, Biggie? What are you doing? Oh, He's been leaving me alone all day. He's only just come over now because I got the camera out. Um, I've done a bit of hoovering and tidying and other stuff as well. All's going pretty well, really. Everything's going okay with work. Personal life, still pretty weird. No, I'm just going to go play some music and stuff at the open mic. That'll be good. And, uh, oh, I did some more of my jigsaw as well. Biggie. And I've been reading more of my bedtime book, which is Alan Ginsberg's um, essays. In terms of book news, I have finished reading 450 from Paddington by Agatha Christie. This is a Miss Marple book. I gave it a 3.75 out of 5. I mean, it's fairly predictable for me to enjoy a Miss Marple book, you know? So I'm, I'm assuming nobody's surprised about the fact that I enjoyed it. It's uh, the large print edition I got as well. I didn't know that. I just ordered it online and that's what came. So yeah, I enjoyed that. Uh, basically, somebody is on a train, and as the train's going along, there's another train going along beside them at the same speed, and she looks in and she sees a murder happening, and uh, nobody believes her except for Miss Marple, and then Miss Marple starts to investigate. I think what was quite cool about it was that um, 
like Marple, she's kind of old in this one, so she doesn't run around after the crime trying to find all these clues and stuff. She just sort of positions herself nearby. She like claims to be retiring somewhere to live out her elderly days and whatnot. And she gets someone else to do all the hard work for her. So that was cool. And then the cat is currently sitting on this, but I'll get it anyway. Now I am reading Susan Hill, I'm the King of the Castle. Uh, and yeah, this is a story, you know. Some people are coming today, said Mr. Hooper. Now you will have a companion. But his son Edmund did not want any other boy in the ugly, isolated Victorian house. It was his house. He was king here. But Kingshaw still came with his bright, genteel mother. Hooper hated him. He was an intruder to be subtly persecuted. Hooper learned fast how to turn the most ordinary object into a source of terror. Like a frightened animal, Kingshaw ran. Yeah, I don't know. It did win an award, and I've been enjoying the other Susan Hill that I've read, so that's, that's what's good. Oh, and I made some quinoa chilli for food today. Gavin and Stacey. I'm right at the end of it. Um, 
James Corden, who's in it, he's from High Wycombe originally. There's actually a joke in this. There was a reference to the chair museum here. It is Saturday the 15th of February. I am very hungover. Um, but later on I have to go and work the bar at the art centre. But I am getting paid to do it, so that's nice. And um, it's for like a rave? Some sort of rave? I don't know. It sounds really weird because it's organised by like college students, so they're not old enough to drink. But apparently there is going to be a bar because there are going to be a few adults there. But mostly it's just going to be constantly IDing people all night. So uh, maybe a shower will make me feel better. I went to the open mic last night. It was good. I played some songs for Dave. I played some songs solo. You've seen the footage, actually, because I've been editing that today. Um, yeah, a bit of a weird Valentine's Day, to be honest. But yes, there was lots of good artists. And I'm still reading I'm the King of the Castle by Susan Hill. It's really very dull. I'm not enjoying it at all, but... I've only got about 50 pages left to go, so I'm going to finish that, and then I think I've got Hercule Poirot's case book. Oh my god, I feel, I don't feel good at all. I shouldn't feel like this. Uh, I am watching Seven Days Out and learning about space and stuff, yeah. It is Monday, the 17th of February. Um, mad weekend. I guess I'll try and update you about the weekend. So. Friday night was the Art Centre open mic, very nice. Uh, Saturday I helped at the Art Centre. I was working the bar for like a rave and then it got shut down by the police, so that was crazy. And then we went in, out into town afterwards. Don't really remember getting home. Woke up at about 4.30 p.m. on Sunday and went immediately to the Rose and Crown for the, the Sunday jam there, because I'd overslept. Um, and then I got there and my friend Dave was like, why are you covered in face paint? And I did not know I was covered in face paint, so I had to wash that off in the sink. So yeah, and then we played Anarchy in the UK. So it was a good little evening, came back home, fell asleep, woke up again. It is now, as I say, Monday. I've been doing some work. I finished reading whatever that shitty Susan Hill book was called, I'm the King of the Castle. Yeah, so I finished reading this, I gave it a 2 out of 5, it was incredibly dull. It's one of those books where really the whole point of it is like the relationships between the two characters, only I didn't like the two characters, it followed these two boys, like young boys, and they were both just dickheads really. So it wasn't very fun. Um, but then I picked up Hercule Poirot's case book by Agatha Christie, and I'm currently on page 70. It's a collection of short stories. I believe I've actually read the first two of these already. Um, like, as in, I've previously read them, but I'm still enjoying reading them, you know, because it's, it's Poirot. Also, my head hurts up here. I, I might have fallen on it, I don't know. And yeah, I'm quite hungover today. Uh, I went to Subway earlier, got a vegan Subway. Loves of all. He must smuggle the hash all the way to Paris. Alright, I'm learning about drug smugglers. It is Tuesday, the 18th of February. Uh, I woke up about half one today. Again, I didn't sleep well last night. Look at my eyes, man. Look at how baggy they are. Um, especially in this lighting. But yeah, just chilling. I was going to end this vlog, but I've decided just to keep it going. Uh, I've been doing a bit of unhauling today, been doing some of that. Been cracking on with Hercule Poirot's casebook, so um, got I think about 50 pages left to go on that. It's alright, but I think I've read these stories before in a different one. Um, I think I have done that a few times because I got like a master list of every Agatha Christie book, and some were published like, so especially the short story collections. There are like different collections in the UK and in the US, so it sort of depends which one you get, you know? But yeah, I've been enjoying them so far. It's on course like 3.5 out of 5. And then I think up next I'm going to read uh, A Wrinkle in Time by Madeleine Lengel. Uh, tonight there is an open mic night which I might go to, but I don't really want to get drunk, so I might go along and drink some lemonade and just play a few songs. Um, maybe take a notebook as well so I can try and be productive just to save money and then obviously when I get in I'll be able to do a bit more work as well um, but it'll be nice to get out of the house and I think that's all I've got for you really
Wednesday morning and I'm listening to the Tommy Knockers again. What part am I up to? It's mislabeled actually, so it says, I, okay, I'm on file number 16 and it says it's part number 14. It is obviously part number 16 of 32, so I'm about halfway through. I just still have oh, about 16 and a half hours left to go on, on it, but uh, yeah, cracking on with the Tommy Knockers and I'm watching some snooker. I just have it on in the background while I've got my audiobook on, to be honest. Um, I've got my current, my current system is that uh, during the working day, so between 9am and 6pm, is when I watch YouTube. And then during the evenings is when I watch Netflix and or listen to audiobooks. I've also got some movies I've downloaded that I want to watch as well. Uh, last night I went to the open mic, played some tunes with Dave, saw a few people I knew, so that was quite nice. Uh, I only had one and a half pints, I also had a pint of lemonade, so that was good. Because it was kind of good to get back and like, I could still be productive uh, once I got back. The only problem is, is alcohol helps me to sleep a little bit. And because I hadn't, I only had like a pint and a half, it wasn't enough to help me sleep. So I did try and sleep, didn't happen, so I'm back awake now. I have a call with a counsellor in three and a half hours. It's my first introductory call and they're going to want to talk to me about I had to do, I, I can't remember what they're called, like PMQ7 or whatever surveys, which are like mental health surveys, and they ask you questions about, you know, how often have you felt like this in your day-to-day -day life, blah, blah, blah. And my results on it are going to be terrible, because I was honest, but I f filmed this, I, but I filled this thing out like the day after I'd gone through a breakup, so actually no, it wasn't even that, it was like four or five days afterwards, which is what made it worse, because then it was like, over the last week, how often have you thought about this? And it's like, well, every day, mate. But I am doing a little bit better, so there's that. Camera's currently flashing to say it's low battery. Uh, I finished reading Her Hercule Poirot's case book. Uh, that was a pretty solid 3.5 out of 5. And now I'm reading A Wrinkle in Time by Madeleine Lengel. Uh, I'll probably do a review of it. It's okay so far, I'm not like super impressed. But as I say, it has been alright, and um, you know, I, it does have this sort of timeless vibe to it, but at the same time, I, I feel like I'd rather just be reading Enid Blyton. Uh, and then next up, I have We're Living Through the Breakdown, and Here's What We Can Do About It by Tatton Spiller. Uh, this is one that I was sent, but it's non-fiction about politics and stuff. I will probably pick it up shortly, I imagine, yes. I don't know, I'm not sure whether to pick it up next or not, so we'll see. I guess we will, yeah, I'll update you on that later. Alright, and I'm going to film a new video today on my reduced TBR because I've been cutting it down. So it's just going to be, you know, 
footage of my shelves, I guess, with me talking over them. <laughs> oh man, I'm well tired. It's currently 25 past two. Um, I've, what have I done today? I went to town to go to the shop to get a few bits from there. And um, I also had my like screening call with uh, something called Healthy Minds, which uh, they offer like mental health guidance and support and all this stuff. I think I'm going, I'm being sent to some um, depression group classes, so I will report back to you and let you know how those go. I did anxiety group classes last year, so I guess it's just building off that, isn't it? I uh, picked up some fruit food from Tesco as well. And I'm just trying to keep going even though I'm exhausted basically once as soon as it pretty much as soon as it gets dark outside I think I'm gonna get into bed with my book and my coloring in and uh, Try and get an early night. Uh, I'm still reading a wrinkle in time. I'm on page 200 of about 250 So I should finish that this evening as well, and uh, I'll be doing a review for it, too yeah. All right. Well, it is that magical time again of snooker and the yeah. tommy knockers Thursday yesterday um, I managed I made it up until about 4 p.m. in the end and then got into bed read for a little bit and then fell asleep woke up again about midnight it's now 8 a.m. in the morning I haven't slept I have been to bed twice but I wasn't un unable to sleep so I'm just gonna try and stay awake again today as long as I can hopefully longer than 4 p.m. until eventually I get my sleeping pattern into like a normal time you know um, there was a jam that we were thinking about going to tonight um, in Oxford, but uh, that's been cancelled. So now the next thing that's happening is on Sunday, which is the Art Centre jam, which will at least be a good jam. So yeah, because of that, I do kind of wish that my sleep had been okay, because then I would have volunteered at the Art Centre yesterday but um, for the Skeptics event, but hey-ho. Um, so I probably won't... I, don't, I haven't got plans to see anybody until Sunday now, so... You know, um, in terms of reading, I finished reading A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lengel. There will be a review of this coming soon, but uh, as a general thing, yeah, it was quite good. 3.5 out of 5. It wasn't mind-blowing. Um, I'd kind of expected a little bit more of it just because of how kind of influential and well-known it is. But I am glad that I've read it. I honestly probably would have preferred to have been reading some Enid Blight and especially some rereads of the Faraway Tree books. But it did have a little bit of that blight and magic, you know. And now I'm currently reading We're Living Through the Breakdown and here's what we can do about it. Well, I think it's just called Breakdown by Tatton Spiller. Uh, this is a non-fiction book that I was sent in the post. They didn't ask, they just sent it to me with a press release. And uh, it sounded awesome and already I'm really enjoying it. It's basically about the state of the world today. So, so far I'm still uh, in the chapter on how other people think. So it's talking about um, the different thought processes people follow, why people are conservative versus liberal, that sort of thing. And I've learned that apparently I am probably a socialist, which I didn't know, because I, I don't really go for labels, you know? I just believe in what I believe, but I guess if you put a label on it, you would probably call me a socialist. Reply. As usual, peace until they get I have there. got my Stephen King audiobook on, and the snooker. Nine and a half hours left of the Tommy Knockers. Um, so I'm getting that. I'm supposed to be rereading The Catcher in the Rye this month as well. And I reread via audio. And basically, I must have started the Tommy Knockers in January. <laughs> and I still haven't finished it. But nine and a half hours. It's currently 20 to 3. I probably won't finish it today then. But I can make a really good dent on it and maybe finish it tomorrow. And that gives me next week to do uh, Catcher in the Rye. But yeah, I'm enjoying it actually. I'm finally getting into the story now. So, um... Yeah, there'll be a review of this coming soon. In terms of my reading, I finished reading The Break, uh, the Breakdown by Tatton Spiller. This one was a 4.5 out of 5. It's very good. And actually, this is heading for the same. This is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguri. I'm currently on part two of it. I'm on about page 120 of 280, 290, something like that. It's really beautifully written. And it's one of those where there's this like core mystery to it that... It just keeps you guessing, you know, and it kind of keeps you reading. You get like drip fed information about what's going on in this world and it's very sort of dark and sinister. So, um, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. I appreciate it's probably not for everybody, but certainly for me, I've, I've really been enjoying it. I got my coffee here. I've got 30 pages left of uh, Allen Ginsberg's collected essays, which is what I've been reading as my bedtime book. So I might have finished that tonight. If not, again, probably... Basically, by the end of the weekend, I should be pretty much at the end of the Tommy Knockers, Ginsburg, and Never Let Me Go. 
so it's going to be, uh, be a productive weekend. I've posted my new TBR video today as well, my 2020 TBR. I've actually already managed to unhaul a few more things from it, um, but I am now, I think, at the point th there's nothing left to unhaul, really. Maybe, at most, like five books. Um, but even then, I I've got to pick them up and read them a bit before I decide if I want to or not. Um, so yeah, I'm on about 75 unread books, which is good because like this time last year I was probably on a 200, 150, <laughs> something like that. Um, so what else is new? Uh, yesterday, I didn't film an update yesterday. I w did have a very productive day. Uh, and then in the evening I went to the art centre and I just helped Fran behind the bar and I did help do some like cleaning up a store cupboard and stuff. And it was pretty cool because it was... Oh, and I did some training as well. I'm the first person to do it and I'm half done on the training, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I, um, it was a, an under-18s open mic with, like, the winner uh, gets to perform at Frogfest, which is a local festival thing, which should be good. Hopefully, I might hopefully go to see that this summer. So that was what I did last night and then I just came home, just, just did some work. I've been doing some overtime. I'm doing some more today. I've actually got a call later. Um, but I want to try and save up a bit of money I might do an update video talking about what I want to do with my life in the next year I don't know let me know if you'd be interested in that let me let me know in the comments because um, there's some stuff which I don't know it would be good to get some people's opinion on it as well but also it's like a my kind of my plan and I haven't told either of my parents yet and it kind of relies on both of them helping me out a little bit so <laughs> So I need to talk to them. But, oh, in three weeks, though, I'm going away to Buxton with my mum. So that'll be a nice vlog, because it'll be a nice little, you know, nice bit of travelling. Yep, yeah, yet again, it is Stephen King audiobook and snooker time. Let me just see how much I've got left. So I've got about four hours, 35 minutes. It is currently 8.26am on Sunday, the 23rd of February. It's a Sunday jam at the art centre later, at like 3.30pm till 6.30pm or something. I tried to sleep but was unsuccessful in my mission, so I haven't slept. So I'm not entirely sure how well this is going to go, but I do want to go to it. So I'm probably just going to try and stay up now, and then I'll have a few drinks when I'm there, and then I'll just come home and crash and then wake up tomorrow. I guess. I guess. Um, yeah. I might try and do some laundry in a bit as well. And I also want to go to the shop and get some food in because I've got no food. I actually currently don't have a working fridge, but I might be getting Fran's old one. Fran is the lady from the art center. And she'd actually got an old fridge of hers that was at the art center for various reasons. And now the art center might no longer need it. And she doesn't want it, if that makes sense. So I might be able to get it. Uh, I'm still reading Never Let Me Go. I am currently on page 254 so I think I have about 20 pages left to go and it's fantastic so far really I mean it has slowed down a little bit but also I've just really enjoyed the way the authors kind of drip fed this information to us and the way that the world has been slowly uh, slowly revealed I'm gonna pause the snooker so there's less clapping there so yeah there's a review of that coming soon I also finished my bedtime book deliberate prose by Allen Ginsberg this is his selected essays been reading this for about six or seven weeks now. It was okay. I mean, unless you're a Ginsberg super fan or a completionist, or you're writing an essay or something about him, I don't really see why you would read this. Um, I'm just trying to read everything that he ever wrote. I mean, there is some cool stuff. Yo, so uh, my battery ran out. It's now 9.20 a.m. I've read a bit more of Never Let Me Go. Uh, and I was talking about Ginsberg's essays, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, there is some cool stuff in here about like Jack Kerouac and um, Neil Cassidy and William Burroughs and that lot. Uh, and also he talked a lot about people like Walt Whitman, a lot of the people who, were, who, he, who he was influenced by. So it was cool to see that side of him. Overall, I gave it a three out of five, though. It was pretty heavy going, really. Um, definitely one for aficionados only, you know. And then I read Birds Who Eat French Fries by Michael Maul. So this is an American poet and uh, basically one of my contacts, Isabel Kenyon, who runs Fly on the Wall Poetry Press. She's working with him as a client and she reached out to ask me if I would be interested in reading and reviewing it. So I said, sure, why not? So, uh, so I did. It was okay. It wasn't really my kind of poetry per se. I mean, it was free verse, so I did appreciate that because I always love free verse stuff. 
Um, I don't know, it was a bit religion heavy at times, but there were a few poems that I did enjoy that I flagged out. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's read one of them to you now. Things that can become projectiles. In times of emergency, I have seen many things take flight. Pens and forks, butter knives, shoes and keys and wedding rings, one and two. What has been thrown my way is really all the same. Love given back, now taken other forms. What I am confused by now is how one moves ahead to rebuild a life from broken flings, or remembers how to discern the useless from the burn of precious things. So yeah, overall I gave this a 3.5 out of 5. I will be doing a full review of this, but it's not going to be out for ages, because I think I'm due to post it on April the 2nd, so you know. Uh, I've also just been to the laundry to put a wash on because my washing machine doesn't work, my fridge also doesn't work, nothing fucking works here I tell you, I need to move out of this place, which is part of my long term plan, but um, yeah so I've put the laundry on, I'm going to go back in a second and put another load on too, other than that today I'm going to be filming a few book shoot videos and going to the, going to the jam.
It's Tram Sam on Cyanide and Happiness. Are we there? I'm in focus. I am very hungover. <laughs> so I went to the art centre yesterday for the Sunday Jam and it was good. I played some songs with Dave and then um, I ended up like working behind the bar a bit because the woman who runs it is pregnant and the noise was too loud so she like legally wasn't supposed to be in there. Um, so I worked the bar a little bit and then after that one of the people I was there with, he was like, do you want to go to the Bell in Risborough where there was an open mic? So he was driving, so he drove me and Dave there and back. So yeah, I was drinking for like six hours. But played twice, so that's good. Uh, in terms of my reading, I finished reading Never Let Me Go. I also finished reading Birds Who Eat French Fries by Michael Maul. I think I mentioned both of these. And then I finished reading Dinner in the Fields by Attractor Faye. And I'm currently reading... Alcoholic Betty by Elizabeth Horan. So these are all poetry books. I mostly want to talk about Alcoholic Betty. Uh, I've read some of Elizabeth Horan's stuff before. Basically, this is all about, like, alcoholism and stuff. Um, let me read you one of the poems I've flagged. Oh, I was dead at 29, doused and lit with bikini lines, smoking men on my red hots, leaving them in gutters, ten in one pot. I know what you mean, I really do. My cervical spine is fused from looking over my shoulder. The muscles tired of all the rubbernecking. They done snapping back. What did I think I would see with all this scouting out behind me? Alejandro El Pendeo flying in from Mexico. Redacted. With his apology for raping me at 16. I can only tunnel vision now. No periphery. I'm done with hashtag me too. If I've no one left to tell it to. No careers to ruin set my own. With tales of the gropings in blood clot dawns. Baby mine, don't you cry for me no more. I don't need her, I don't need anyone. I need water, endless geezers, want to wash the grime off me, burn with sulfur any trace of violations which occurred on the dermatological construct of me, daddy. I lied, I need you. You knew I was coming back around with this. You know my tendency for neediness, but it is only with you I behave in this way. I don't smother any others these days. I let them go easily, like old coffee spilling in the driveway. Our histories dispel as smoke, even as they pivot away from me. I will be okay. Alone is really good. Alone is what I make of it. And death is only a month away. The prior repertoire of eating souls is not for me anymore. I only need you. Light be crave. Get me through this night again. Give me one good dream that is not of broken bottles slashing, trolls hidden in the casings, hot dogs penetrating, showers of gold teeth cascading, children lost forever and naked, predators in the woods instead of chickadees, flitting around snatching babies. This is why my neck is fused from the midnight run. I must have been talked in. My hapless pillow form till the night had passed through in another fatal storm. So yeah, alcoholic bay. It's pretty good, and I've almost finished it, so I will finish this today. So that seems like a good place to end this vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.